In this video, we'll look at the modern levels of analysis used in psych and the different career domains where you'll see people use psychology at work. Okay, so the three main levels of analysis in psych refer to these three main factors that can influence our mind or our behavior. And they are the biological, psychological, and sociocultural levels. The biological level of analysis focuses on the physiological processes that underlie our psychology. This includes the study of genetics, neurochemistry, brain structure, and other physical factors that can influence our behavior. The psychological level of analysis focuses more on the cognitive side of things. So this includes things like perception, thinking, emotion, motivation, and learning. Up next, we've got the sociocultural level of analysis, which focuses on the social and cultural factors that can affect our behavior. So this includes the study of things like social norms, cultural values, social identity, and group dynamics. And it's important to note that these levels of analysis are all interconnected. And so if you want a comprehensive understanding of human psychology, then it means you should probably consider all three levels when you're trying to understand a given behavior. All right, let's move on to the different career domains that you can find in psychology. First up, we've got the clinical domain, which focuses on the diagnosis and treatment of mental health disorders. And clinical psychologists work with individuals to address a range of issues, including anxiety, depression, and addiction. The counseling domain focuses on helping people improve their well-being and resolve personal issues like getting through a divorce or the stress that can come from losing your job. All right, next we've got the developmental domain of psychology, which focuses on the physical, cognitive, and social changes that occur throughout our lifespan. So these psychologists study how individuals develop and change over time. Okay, the educational domain focuses on the application of psychological principles in a school setting. So educational psychologists might study how people learn, how to design effective learning environments, or how to assess educational outcomes. The experimental domain focuses on conducting research to understand how people think, feel, and behave. These psychologists use controlled experiments to investigate a really wide range of psychological phenomena. The industrial organizational domain focuses on the application of psychological principles in the workplace. So these psychologists usually study topics like employee motivation, job satisfaction, and understanding behavior at work or within an organization. Up next, we've got the personality domain, which focuses on understanding individual differences in personality traits and how they relate to behavior. So these psychologists usually study traits like openness, extroversion, and neuroticism, and then they'll look at how differing levels of those traits can lead to different life outcomes. The psychometric domain focuses on the development and use of psychological tests. So psychometricians try to measure things like intelligence, personality, and mental health. And last but not least, the positive domain of psychology focuses on the positive aspects of the human experience. So this is things like happiness and well-being. So these psychologists will try to understand the factors that promote positive outcomes and develop interventions to help make those outcomes a reality. Okay, so that's it. We've now covered all the domains and perspectives in psychology. In our next video, we'll start looking at research methods.